Are there too many altcoins? Bitcoin maximalists annoy me. Want to know why? Because they promote a fatally flawed argument that Bitcoin is the answer. Well, the answer to what? Whatever you need to do with the blockchain. Store of value? Our bread and butter. Payments? We got you covered globally. How about smart contracts? Have you seen our time locks? Do you know what we can do with Schnorr signatures? So here's the newsflash. You can't go to one place for all your needs. Never been true in software or anything else. But that doesn't stop people from thinking it's so. There was a time when big companies thought IBM is all we'll ever need, which got replaced with Microsoft is all we'll ever need, which got replaced with Amazon is all we'll ever need. If Bitcoin maximalists were to borrow an advertising slogan, they'd probably go with Bitcoin, the ultimate blockchain machine. My apologies to BMW. But about those Bitcoin value propositions, store a value? Well, for now, yeah, Bitcoin works pretty well. Payments? Please. Bitcoin is a total failure as a consumer mass market payment system. You want to do payments with an immutable, uncensorable crypto, and there are a lot of reasons why you'd want to do that? Go with a stable coin like Tether. Why? Well, how's this for an advertising slogan? When it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight. Because, you know, Bitcoin is slow. Side note here, the Bitcoin core developers didn't like MasterCoin. They couldn't understand why anyone would want it. You know, because of that whole Bitcoin solves all the problems. So what was the one successful application built on MasterCoin? It was Tether. We built Tether on MasterCoin because we couldn't deal with all the drawbacks of Bitcoin as a payment scheme. So what about smart contracts? Oh man, this one is pretty silly. Yes, you can write a script on Bitcoin to define some conditions around a transaction, but it's clunky. And really, hardly anyone uses it. Uh, to quote Mean Girls, stop trying to make fetch happen. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Smart contracts are a specialized capability and need a dedicated focus, which is what the teams from EOS and Ethereum are doing, and doing a lot of good work in that area. So why do Bitcoin Maximus have this, the one coin to rule them all philosophy? Well, I think it's because they have a zero sum mentality. They believe the tribes of all those altcoins out there would converge around Bitcoin if they just hadn't gotten distracted by these side projects. It reminds me of the early days of the consumer internet. There were a few hundred websites in 1993. By 1995, there were over 20,000. When my partners and I were raising our venture capital firm, Idea Lab Capital Partners, which was the first dedicated consumer internet venture fund, one question we got a lot was, how can you dedicate a whole venture fund to consumer internet? There are already thousands of websites out there. Why do we need more? We've got a travel site, a car selling site, an e-commerce site for toys. Why do we need more of those? Well, because humans like novelty. So we invent new ways to do things. And those new ways sometimes require entirely new approaches. Mail order catalogs were a popular thing at one time, and then e-commerce happened and consumers decided e-commerce was a better thing. So how many altcoins do we need? Well, there are what, two billion Facebook pages in the world? When we start getting close to that number, we might have enough. If you like what you heard today, please hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.